What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go hit it. Cause at 3,300 subscribers, we're having another raffle. So I'm about to show you guys a preview of what my front bumper looks like on the car. Um, it's on there just for mock-up purposes. I, I am gonna take it off again cause we still gotta sand. Still gotta do a lot of work to the engine bay compartment. But this is just to show you guys what the Civic is starting to look like. Are you guys ready? What you guys think? Because I know I love it. It looks very nice. Like I said, the front bumper is only on there for mock-up purposes, just so we can get an image, an idea of what this paint job is starting to look like. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys how I clean my gun. I'm going to completely clean it out because tomorrow we are going to be painting the back quarter of the Civic. I'm planning on scuffing i know i said this before but if you're new to the channel this is what we're doing we're scuffing this whole side all the way around taping everything up and hopefully tomorrow we will be painting so in order to do that we got to clean our gun out when i used it the last time all i did was add where is it here it is I added this thing to the gun the gun was still connected to the compressor and I shot everything out so therefore the gun cleared itself out of paint I went ahead and I filled this guy up again and it's, it's been sitting here for the past two days this gun has not been cleaned properly so that's what we're gonna do so in order to get this gun cleaned up, this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to wire brush, a small little wire brush, another wire brush, and the tool. Usually this tool and this wire brush will come with the gun. I got some degreaser in here, just in case if I need it for anything. It's mixed with water. It's nothing but purple power and water. Um, I have the mineral spirits right here and I have the compressor ready to go if I gotta hook it up to shoot anything out once the mineral spirits has been in there and you guys have let it sit in there for a little bit and it's spraying clear liquid you go ahead and you dump this out that's what I like to do you dump out whatever mineral spirits is left in there and I start to disassemble my cup there's a tool right here this tool will loosen this guy up which then releases this when I spray rust-oleum I do not run a filter in there they sell these little filters or sometimes the gun comes with the filter and it just drops in there I do not run that filter because that usually clogs up my gun. It slows down everything a little bit too much for Rust-Oleum. So basically, that's what it looks like in there. Doesn't look bad. It's just stained inside right now. The next thing I do is I release this guy. 
I set it like that. I release the next one. And I try to keep this in order. That way it doesn't get like all confusing or lost or anything. If you don't know what you're doing, just keep it in order. This was the first one, set it right there. Then you go for the second one. And then this guy has this little thing, this washer, and this washer sits on that top lip. So we're gonna go ahead and just set this guy right here, keep it all in order. You take this guy off, set him right there, and that's pretty much it. That's as far as I, I take it apart. So let's start with this guy. What I do with this guy is just run the wire brush over the top, just like this. Get it pretty clean, get the sides pretty clean, the other side. And now, what I usually do is I use look up into the sky and try to see if I can see those little holes. This one looks pretty good. They don't look like they're clogged up or anything. Sometimes what I like to do is I'll go look for a little piece of wire and I'll run it through these holes that are on the sides to see if there's anything in there. But this is looking pretty good. You got to make sure that you get everything. Because if you don't, you'll end up with, um, what's it called? Uh, boogers all over your paint. All right. So now we're just going to spray this guy a little bit. You see the paint right there? I'm just going to let this guy sit here for a little bit. Then you go off to the next one. This one. I'm just going to spray a little bit in there. It's not bad in there. I'm going to put this guy in. Spin him around a few times. And you just keep going like this until it looks pretty clean in there. It's looking a lot cleaner now. You could definitely see right through this guy. There you go. It had some bubbles in there. So I'm just gonna set this guy right here. I'll leave this guy alone, unless if it's got like any, anything on there, any dirt or anything, any paint. But I leave that guy alone. This guy is a quick examine. It looks good. Now this part, what I like to do here is I'll put something in here to start to clean it out. Put it through here, through the top. And just get this needle clean. And then after you clean the needle, you could take 
this guy again and just stick them on the side and start cleaning this whole side because remember anything that is left in there the gun is going to spit out so you want to make sure that everything is clean this is part of the reason why i usually buy guns every three and four paint jobs because i don't like I don't like uh, cleaning these guys. I mean, if it was an expensive gun, then I would clean it, of course. But this is just like a $15, $14 gun. One of my buddies paid, I believe it was like $800 or $900 for a gun. And he, he took really good care of that gun. Me personally, I wouldn't spend that much on a gun. Some of these guns could be a little bit expensive. Oh yeah, there's definitely little particles in there that are dried up. So I'm gonna probably have to scrub this in here for a little bit, a few minutes. I'm gonna go get some coffee and I'll continue recording. I think I left off that I was cleaning this guy right here Another part that I like to clean is right in between here. What I do is I pull the trigger and you see that space that opened up? Basically all you did was pull on this guy. So you wanna make sure that you stick this guy through here and you try to clean any paint that might be in there. Because if you don't, then it will not make a, a good seal So you got to get any paint or anything that's that's stuck right there off. Otherwise you'll get leaks or anything from here. And there's many many cleaners that you guys can use on these guns. Um, I'm personally using just mineral spirits and some purple power because that's all that I have. I went ahead and I ran the wire brush all over the whole gun. Try to get a little bit cleaner. I scratched the crap out of it. All right, so I think we're pretty much ready for assembly. So basically, this guy just goes in here. It's got one little thing that sticks out, like a little nipple right here. And that's gonna go into the middle up here. Then this guy goes in here.
And remember, you gotta slide this guy up. So it could drop right into that little groove that it has. After I'm done cleaning this gun or reassembling, we are gonna go ahead and empty out the compressor in case if there's any water. Go ahead and tighten this guy down. Doesn't have to be too tight, just where where you guys feel that feels pretty tight. That's good right there. Go ahead and put this guy back in. And this guy, like I said before, I don't like to over tighten this guy because usually when I'm shooting paint, I like to leave it like, let me see, right around there where it's kind of hard to move but you can still move it. So basically, when you're spraying, if you're going across like this, back and forth, you want this guy to be across, how it is. If you're gonna be painting up and down, you go ahead and you spin this guy like that, and then you fan it up and down. If you're going across, make sure this guy is going across like that. Um, this is a 1.4 tip. I don't like to go any higher than that. A 1.5 or a 7 I believe or 1.8 is more for like uh, I would say primer from my experience. To lay paint with a 1.8 or a 1.5 would definitely ruin my paint job. The smaller the tip the better it is and the nicer that it's gonna turn out at the end all right so I think all oh, this guy too I gotta clean this guy this guy I'm just gonna they, they sell these where you can just buy buy like a bunch of them um, this one I'm just gonna clean it out and reuse it Remember, this channel is about working with what we have. So that's why I reuse a lot of stuff, working on a budget, pretty much. I got the inside of this cup really nice and clean. I'm gonna put them back on there. Tighten it up a little bit. And that's pretty much it, how I clean my gun. And then if I'm gonna let it sit for a while or anything, I like to keep fluid in it. So basically, like you guys seen right here, put it on the vice grip. And I'm gonna put some mineral spirits in there. That's all. I'm just gonna let the mineral spirits just sit in there for a while until I paint again. Pull the trigger, you guys can see how clear this is. That's pretty much it. So now let's get started on this compressor. I'm gonna let the air compressor build up in pressure and then I'm gonna show you guys all the water that's gonna come out of this compressor. The compressor is fully charged. Um, I've had this compressor since 2015. It was a gift from the old man. I guess it was his appreciation for bailing him out of jail so many times. Today will be the day that I peel these guys off. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at that. Like brand new. I've had this covers on there since 2015. This compressor was bought at Harbor Freight. I don't know how much he paid for it. It's a 26 gallon compressor. Here's all the info on it. Max air pressure 150. And basically, any stickers that I have ever gotten, I've just stuck on the compressor. You got eBay sticker right here. You got my channel sticker right there. The Sick Shop. Um, DB Fam. VMS. Bunch of random st stickers on there. Either way. So we got this compressor completely full. So as you guys can see, there's no water under here. It's completely dry. We're about to release this guy right here. And you guys are gonna see all the water that's gonna come out of this compressor. Last time I did this was about six months ago. Oh yeah, look at all that. Look at all that water. I'm gonna let this compressor completely empty out. And then we're gonna charge it again and do it all over again. Look at all the water that spilled out. I noticed that if you shake the compressor and open the thing again, then more water will come out. Compressor is completely full. 150. This gauge is for the compressor in the tank. This gauge is for the line. I have this guy closed off right now, but if I was to turn it on, I'm gonna show you guys. You can regulate the pressure that goes up. So let's say I want it at 60. There it is at 60. I want it at 90. There it is at 90. A little bit higher. I want to take it back down to 30. And there it is back at 30. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead, shake this guy up again. And release this guy down here to see if anything else comes out This is going to be the end of this video. We are completely ready. Tomorrow, we're definitely going to be doing some, some painting. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Remember, hit the subscribe button. Later.